Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today we're taking a first impressions look at Antichamber, a first person puzzle game that uses some, uh, well not quite non-Euclidean geometry, but it uses things that don't make sense with the regular laws of physics, but make sense internally within the game's laws of physics. You'll see what I mean. So we start off in this chamber right here. You can see I've played about an hour and a half of this on my own. Or no wait. That's counting down. I just deleted the save just so we'd be able to go through the beginning again. I'm not sure why it's counting down. There's the exit. Can't go through there, though. So uh, we click here, and it'll dump us in the first area. This is kind of our map of the whole game as we find new test chambers. Or test chambers. The equivalent of test chambers. Uh, we'll be able to warp back to them because there's multiple ways through a lot of them. So here's our first uh, area. Look back. This thing it tells us to look up. And there's also this eye. Which, if you stare at it too long, it will start to blink. So it tells us to jump. Well, I don't think we can make that gap, but these letters are pretty convincing. We did not make that jump. You can see that. Oh, I jumped again. And now the floor we were looking at disappeared. You get a lot of these little, uh. What are they? Platisms? Something like that? These are like little hints. See, we failed to jump across that gap, but doesn't mean we haven't made progress. Go through here. There's a lot of weird background sounds in this, like the seagulls and the raindrops. Some paths are clearer than others. Do we want to go up or down? Let's go down. Oh, and now we're back here. Let's try it up. So regardless of whether we go up or we go down, we end up back here. But what if we go back? And if we go backwards, things aren't always the same. So, of course, now we're somewhere else. And that's kind of the internal logic of this game. I do find it interesting how the layout is able to change on the fly without any loading or anything. So, obviously, you know, there should be a tunnel going across this. But when you go around this, there's a completely different tunnel. You also have things like these laser tripwires. You walk through them to activate doors. The picture for this one is more helpful than the message, but basically, we've run into a dead end. The only way to go back is to hit escape, which will dump us back to this main room. And you can see now we have multiple destinations. And you can see that this one here, the jump, has a branching path. So we want to go back there and see if we can figure out another way to get past this. You can see that's where we uh, actually started, where the jump message is. But the way to get across this is a little unintuitive. If you hold shift, you can walk. And I believe, yeah, in certain areas, when you walk, you'll actually cause floor to appear. That will not appear if you are running. And voila. So 
So if we look at that door behind us, it will close. But if we just walk through it, backwards, it will not. That seems like more like a hint for the thing we just saw. Oh, I guess we can get back out that way too. So here's another interesting one. We're in a red room. And then if we look through here and back up, now we're in a blue room. And if we want to go back to the red room, we just walk up to this and it switches back to where we came from. So it's little things like that where they don't make sense in a real world context, but within the game's own logic, it makes perfect sense to you once you've figured it out. And then you'll be able to understand further puzzles that do the same things. So while this game is sort of a uh, first-person puzzle game similar to Portal, it doesn't really have a story like Portal. There's no, it's not like we're in some sort of, you know, dimensional test chamber or anything. You're just dumped in and you're here to solve puzzles. I'm not sure what's up with these rings you see everywhere. I haven't figured out what purpose they serve yet. Alright, so we actually went backwards here. It's not where I meant to go. I'm gonna go through here. Through there. It's this part of the end here. I can't really tell where to go just because the lines don't appear. You can kind of see the edge between the wall and the floor right here. Aha, there we go. Now we're at the bottom of the jump. But now there's an arrow here. And now we found another one of these room changers, which gives us this. The only tool in the game, as far as I know. It does not shoot portals. This is a little bit of a weird device. Basically, it lets us find cubes like this and suck them up. And then we can use those cubes to manipulate puzzles. For example, if we stand in these tripwires, they'll raise the door. And as it says there, we just pop down a cube, and it'll hold the door open for us. And here we've got a tripwire and a door. There's a window in the way, so we can't just block the door. However, we can just block the tripwire. And a lot of times we'll be forced to leave our cube behind. Also use it to make jumps. This one we can actually retrieve. Yeah, it even tells you to try to always bring them with you when you can. Oh, actually, we need to. Go back and get the other one as well. Nope. Do that. So we can grab this one. And this one. Even though they don't really make sense with what we're seeing, I do like the kind of, you know, grainy backgrounds and ocean sounds and whatnot. So you see here we need three cubes to get through that at all, so we're not going to be able to get through right now. We can't open up a door somewhere else. So 
So this one's kind of a a weight thing. You just have to time your jump so that you hit it with the momentum it gives you. I just wasted it there. It's like trying to jump right when an elevator hits the bottom floor to get that little bit of anti-gravity. Again, we don't have to solve that right now. We can always come back. Luckily, we can't die as far as I can tell. So falling all that way is not really a big deal. I'm not 100% sure of another way through this. Don't look down, but what else can we do in this room? We can walk backwards, I guess. I should have known. Should be able to get on top of that. I really like the stark white look of this game. Okay, this is a non-cube zone, so you see we lost all our cubes there. Sort of like the Emancipation Grills in Portal. I think we've actually been here before, yeah. So these things get excited if we run, or if we move at all, and they will dissolve the bridge if we uh, excite them too much, so we just want to take gentle steps. Alright, we've got multiple ways to go here. And you know, the first time I played this, because I did play about two hours or so of this, uh, some of these I saw and some of these I didn't, honestly. A lot of this game is just solving puzzles to see where they go, and not because you have to solve them in a certain order or anything.
Here's another example. If we run up to these stairs, they will dissolve. But if we walk... Oh no, wait, they still dissolve. Hmm. Could have sworn this is one of the interchangeable ones. Maybe not. And then again, if we walk slow here, we can just make a bridge. Ah, but if we do that, if we try to jump to get over this bridge, we're going to be moving too fast, and it is going to, uh, dump us. Now it tells us to go down this one, which I think is the one we saw before. I don't know what that did. Aha, we can shove it. that actually do anything? Hmm. Anyhow, I think that's a good look at any chamber. You can see we kind of made some progress, saw some different areas. I don't know what that means, that it's spinning like that. They don't really give you a legend for this. But, uh, yeah, that's Antichamber. It's a pretty neat puzzle game. I'd like to see how weird it gets as you go deeper and deeper into the maze. And it kind of gives you some uh, new ways to think, I think, on puzzles. Shows this is where I was last. So I've been Shadefire, and I'll see you in some other tunnel. Oh, this actually collects all the messages we found. That's kind of neat. See you around, folks.